welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a look that didn't involve any liner, so I thought I'd go for this nice vampy look um, with a nice dark lip. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, please keep watching. So today I'm going to be using my Painter Lily Paint Pot by MAC Cosmetics and I'm just going to blend that all over the eyelid with my fingertip. For this look I'm just going to be using my Artist palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just using those two eyeshadows in Dusty Rose and Aubergine and I'm going in with Dusty Rose first, I'm just going to blend that into my eye socket with my 217. Taking the darker colour aubergine, I'm just going to take my 280 brush, I'm literally going to pat in almost like a half circle and simply just blend that out with my 217. For my waterline I'm going to be using this NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rust Roulette and I'm literally just going to take that to my waterline and my lash line. And just to darken my lash line I'm just going to take that aubergine colour we used earlier and my 214 brush by MAC Cosmetics and run that along just the lashes at the bottom and then I'm just going to simply take my 217 again and just blend that out. my Estee Lauder Double Wear Black Eye Pencil, I'm just going to run this along the top of the my lashes in the inside just to give the appearance of my lash line looking slightly thicker. Now I'm going to apply my House of Lashes lashes um, in Siren. These are called Siren and they're super fluttery and I just really thought they would suit this look. Then just to end this eye look, I'm just going to take my Inglot Pure Pigment in 111 and I'm just going to tap that into the inner corner of my eye with my 219 MAC, uh, MAC brush. And then just to finish off, I'm going to um, put mascara on the bottom line and this time I'm going to layer it up just to give an ultra lashy look. Hi guys, so I'm just going to start the skin with my CC Cream by Bobbi Brown in shade Pale Nude. And I'm just going in with this one just because, because it's so cold at the moment. My skin is a little bit, coming up a little bit red. So this is just going to help to take away some of the redness and just to prime the skin. And I'm literally just buffing it all over with my... Suiva 102 Silk Finish Brush. The foundation that I'm going to be using today is the MAC Studio Fix and the shade that I'm using is NC20. And I know probably some of you will say it's a little bit too yellow for me and I do agree with you however I'm one of those annoying skin types that I'm literally between NW20 and NC20 so I always go for NC20 because I would rather be a little bit warmer than a little bit too pale and once I put my concealer and everything it kind of just balances out and I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender <laughs> I 
Next guys, I'm gonna go in with my highlight slash concealer and I'm just gonna use Match Perfection by Rimmel today in shade 10 Ivory. And actually, I went into Boots the other day to try and get a little, some more drugstore, drugstore makeup just so it's a little bit, some of the products are a little bit more accessible to you guys because I know I use a lot of stuff, a lot of makeup brands that are from the States. And do you know what, so I went in and bought this and a couple of other bits and I love this. The applicator is like a small brush and it it's so nice just to glide on and all I'm going to do is take that underneath my eyes and down the middle of my face and just on my chin and I'm simply just going to blend that out again with my beauty blender. And just because it's super cold here in England, I'm just gonna spray my face with Studio 6 Plus, just to keep my skin super hydrated. And the powder I'm gonna set it with is the Ben Bear Minerals Mineral Veil, translucent powder, and I'm just gonna use my Zoeva face defining brush, just to like give myself a light dusting of the powder. Now I look super pale, I'm going to go in to contour my face and today I'm going to use the Illamasqua eyeshadow in Heroin and I actually really love this colour because it's sort of like a really dusty, dusty kind of brown shade which is literally great for contouring and I'm just literally going to take that under my cheekbones and blend it out with my 168. And I'm just going to also take it up to my hairline. Now we've contoured the face, I'm just going to go in with my Nude Rose Blusher by Estee Lauder. This is one of my favourite brushes. I'm just going to use the same brush and apply that to the apples of my cheeks. <coughs> And for my highlight today, guys, I'm just going to go with my Cindy Lou Manizer, Manizer, <laughs> Cindy Lou Manizer, 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 Cindy Lou Manizer. I'm going to go with my Cindy Lou Manizer, and I'm simply just going to take um, my one one eight eight brush by Mac Cosmetics, and I'm just going to really lightly dust it on the top of my cheekbones. And of course the tip of the nose and on my cupid's bow. For my vampy lip today, I'm just gonna use Copenhagen by NYX. And what I use what I do with this is I literally put a layer in the middle, put a couple of layers in the middle. my Vino Lip Pencil by MAC and I'm literally then going to go around and shape my lip.
and I'm also just going to take the lip pencil slightly into the middle as well. And then to finish off, I'm just going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sarafe Liquid Lipstick. I'm just going to put that in the middle of my lip. So guys, that's the end of my tutorial today and I really hoped you liked this look. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Don't forget to leave any comments below on what you'd like to see next week. All of the uh, products are listed below. And remember, you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter under the name makeup by underscore Katie Jane. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next week.